So it's a little high-res display, and you know we have the same 13 mic camera, and uh, it's a little sleeker, and uh, lots of microphones, you know, front and back cameras. You know, we just kind of build the biggest, baddest phone you can make. That's kind of what we really have fun doing that. Um, so we did that, and I think this is a first software build. So what you will see is actually not uh, not the production software, not what the MDP that you know you guys had to test. It's, you know, it'll get there pretty soon, in a few months. Um, we just wanted to show you a few things that shows that. Um, the device is live and kicking, and I think we have a few things. I think we'll play some uh, video to show you that the 1080p video is working, and we're going to do some uh, flash demo. Is that right? right? We're going to show you flash 10.1 uh, um, at 1080p. Uh, so actually, unlike most people who, when they hit a flash player, uh, you know, you just get out of the browser and just play the flash. You know, we actually will do in browser. So we'll run the browser running and make the flash video inside it. Uh, we're going to show some LTE demos, right? Okay. We're going to get some data off LTE. And um, you know, just to just to give you a feel that it's working. So let's play something and we'll see. <coughs> Hopefully it works. Yeah, it's fine. So that's a, as you saw, it's a 17 megabits per second stream. Uh, we just shot it here and we just threw it in there. Um, it's uh, decoding off the hardware decoding gym, 1080p, um, with audio, and you see we mirror both the both the screens. Is it high profile 1080p? Which profile? Yeah, I think it was high profile. It's 264 high profile. Yeah, 17 megabits per second is probably high profile. But the chip does support it, I don't know what exactly this chip okay. is. So you can see you play it seamlessly, no problem. And HDMI out, and we mirror it. And we can also actually play 3D just like I showed you guys last time. Mm -hmm. We probably don't have a clip here today, but we've tested that out. That part works fine. We we actually done some uh, some cool things in 8960. We um, we've actually done some work so that when you actually capture pictures on 3D, we've reduced the bomb cost significantly. Because what happens is uh, I don't know if I talk to them too much about them, but I can tell you a little bit. So basically, when we did 3D on 8660, uh, typically there's left stream and right stream coming at you in the camera, but you had to synchronize them, and there is some uh, synchronization logic and a little bit of gates and chip outside that does that. Um, we actually sucked it all inside 8060, so it takes the bomb cost out significantly, and you can just get a module that's got two sensors, you know, aligned, and you just plug them in, and you know, it'll just uh, the 8960 will actually combine them line by line, and make sure that uh, you get the convergence point, and you know, so the 3D cameras with 8960 will be a lot better. Yeah. What about going the other way and doing 2D to 3D conversion? Yeah, chip? we do that. Actually, we do it in chip. We actually do the 2D to 3D in chip. We actually do 2D to 3D. Um, even on 8660, we've had that, we've showed that. We do it at two stages. One stage is um, we do it in the graphics uh, driver itself. So if you have a game, we can convert almost any game from 2D to 3D because you can render the views, and I showed that demo last time. Uh, we can also take video and convert it to 2D to 3D, and we've tested our uh, 2D to 3D video conversion. It's actually much better than what's inside the TVs. Mm -hmm. Like we do the 2D to 3D conversion TV button, and we'll see what it looks like. We'll turn it off. It will pump 3D out, and you will see it's actually much, much better. We have some really cool technology. Did you license that or develop it in-house? We developed it. Has the video decode block changed since Adreno 220? Uh, Adreno 220 is the graphics engine, right? Yeah. So we have a separate video So they're engine. decoupled? Yeah, they're de okay. we have a separate video engine. Okay, so this is newer than what was in 8660. No, no. Same. Uh, same. We put out some minor enhancements, uh, but pretty much. See, the thing we tried to do is... Um, we try to keep a lot of things very similar. Yeah. Um, you know, bump up the GPU, bump up the CPU, make the camera better, do the 2D, do the 3D stuff. But all the other things we've done in such a way that um, three months from first samples, we can get it here. Okay. So that's the beauty of what we've done is uh, we've got the AP software compatibility worked out. So for most of our customers who've launched the 8660 plus LTE modem fusion, they can just move to a, an integrated LTE modem plus. Uh, on 8960 is so much faster. Okay. Okay, so we want to show something else? Yeah, so we'll do the uh, flash. Okay. Share so we can actually see that on okay. the device. Yeah, so you can show it on the device. device.